Hello YouTube, Testarossa101 coming back to you with an update. Of course we've got the uh, LEDs in. Right now the fish are playing football with a piece of clam. And um, we've got the LEDs in. Thought I could get away with just two of the units, but definitely going to need the third one. Pretty small. Thought that they would throw a little bit more light, but I like what they do. I like the colors that they give. I'm still acclimating the corals. That's why they're not turned all the way up. Beautiful, beautiful color. Wish you could see it in person. But it's coming out to be pretty doggone nice. As a matter of fact, look at that toadstool. That dude had been closed up forever. And also the chili coral, I'm surprised, actually it's it's inflated during the daytime. You can't see the polyps sticking out on it because those only come out at night and it's actually about twice that size when it inflates. But the toadstool looks like it's growing, and that's only after a week. About a week of having the uh, lights on. The rose anemone also starting to bubble ever since these lights were uh, placed in the tank. Got the quarantine tank set up, ready to go. So from now on, instead of trying to experiment and just drop fish in, I'm going to keep them in the, in the quarantine tank for about a month. The latest thing that we've got going on, though, as well as the LED lights, like I said before, I wanted to run a uh, pellet reactor. And I picked one of those up, and it's down in the sump. It's uh, two little fishies, Fosban reactor. And I took, um, it was installed yesterday then I got busy and then I took a uh, nitrate reading and the nitrates were up there a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that run oh by the way it's been modified there is actually uh, two red discs one that goes on top one that goes on the bottom they look like this Um, I just removed the bottom one and took some Teflon tape, stuck it underneath the tube where it goes into the top red one, and there's also a white, small white, smaller diameter holes filter right there, and then a little Teflon tape at the top on the inlet where that same center tube plugs into. That way you have enough distance for it to tumble the media. This is actually uh, meant for phosphate reactor media, but as you can see with this modification, you can run the NP pellets, which is basically to reduce your nitrate phosphate. Tank's doing good. My guys are still playing football. Oh, he just lost the clam. I don't know who just grabbed it. But the tank's doing good. The lighting is showing some improvement with quite a few of the corals. And we've got the Fosban reactor in place. As well as We've got the QT tank up and running. So that's it for now. I'll more than likely do another video to see what the Fosban reactor is actually capable of and whether it lowered nitrates or not. That'll be in about three, maybe four weeks because it takes the media time to start leaching those nutrients. Okay, this is Testarossa 101.
125 gallon long, signing out.